Nobody wanted this dated hutch and the thrift store was about to toss it, but you'll be surprised how you can use something like this in your house with the help of some easy DIY paint and some imagination. This furniture makeover starts right now. This video is sponsored by Beyond Paint and my adventure starts at the thrift store where I was looking for a diamond in the rough and I was looking for a great deal and this is one of the first things that caught my eye. It was a hutch and very dated but the thing that caught my eye it was 75% off. This has been sitting in the thrift store for over a month. I mean some days you are just winning you guys. You are winning. It is crazy because when I had like when I knew I was coming to the store and I wanted to pick out something in one day, I want to get beyond paint. I want to do this really fast. I had in my head, I would love to do like a changing table because I really want to use this deep blue color that I know that they have at Lowe's. Sometimes everything just works together and your plan comes together in your head. And so I'm celebrating today. <laughs> These old school buffets, obviously they do not stand out a lot people don't know where they're gonna fit them in their house but I have made these over several times for people to use for changing tables and they're just the perfect height for a nursery it's nice and small so if you have that big chair in your nursery like you can store stuff in here you can store the diapers and everything and it's always just the perfect height and it's a way to repurpose a piece of furniture that obviously people just keep passing over this has been in here for over a month and I got a smoking deal on it and I had credit at the store for my reward so I only ended up paying $40 for this. So like I said, I had this color in my mind that I wanted to use from Beyond Paint and it's actually now available at Lowe's. So I headed there to go pick it up. You guys have probably seen me use pewter and sage and other colors from Beyond Paint, but I wanted to go blue today and go out of my comfort zone. I usually get kits from Beyond Paint, but if you're picking it up at Lowe's, you just need to get a microfiber roller that is 3 8 inch nap and then some chip brushes. That is all you're gonna need to apply it and it primes, bonds, seals, color all in one. So it's super easy. And while I was here, I decided to pick up some hardware as well because the hardware on this hutch is super dated. I went with some brushed brass because I think it's going to go really well with the deep blue color. Unfortunately, hardware is expensive. I spent as much on my hardware as I did on the entire piece of furniture. Once I got all my supplies, I headed home and I was ready to unload my furniture and get started. This is a great candidate for painting because it's maple, so I'm gonna get a nice smooth finish on it. Yes, you could strip this back, but that is going to take hours and hours and days and days, and using Beyond Paint is going to be a great way to give this a new look. And this one did have a furniture maker mark on it and it is nothing special. It is a company that did a bunch of reproductive colonial pieces. So this is not a real antique. It was probably made in the 50s or 60s to look like colonial furniture. I think these dividers will be perfect to store little items in for a changing table, but this felt has seen better days. So we're gonna remove that and clean the drawers and put these back in. Oh boy, I hit the jackpot, holy smokes. I found address labels, so I feel like I could hunt down the person who previously owned this and send her my makeover. I want some money. We got a key. What? We don't know. <laughs> so sad to report I did not find any money or anything really useful in there. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm getting rid of this hardware and replacing it because this really does make it look colonial and dated and I'm going for a more modern look. To prep my furniture for my Beyond Paint, all I have to do is clean it with a degreaser and I'm using Simple Green to get all the dirt and grime and grease off. I like to spray it down completely and let it set for a couple of minutes to go to work and then I'll come back in and scrub it down. While I'm cleaning, I also take inventory of anything that I need to repair or fix. What's this shell? It goes on top of here, but I won't be using that. What if we put like feet on it and make it a bookshelf? It's pretty dirty. I always make sure to clean underneath my furniture as well because spiders and cobwebs love to live under there. Once I'm done scrubbing my furniture, I'm just gonna take some clean water to rinse away any residue. And I got inside of the drawers to make sure all those crumbs and dust were gone as well. 
Now that I'm done cleaning, I'm gonna take some plastic wood in a natural color and fill in any nicks and dings I saw when I was cleaning. I gave this about four hours to dry and then I came in with a fine sandpaper and sanded everything back smooth. With Beyond Paint, you do not have to sand your surface before you paint. It will stick directly on here, but my top had some damage, so I'm just taking my orbital sander and doing some corrective sanding to smooth it out before I add my paint. Once I was done sanding my repairs in the top, I took a tack cloth and wiped back any dust that I kicked up. And I know I'm gonna make a lot of people mad by doing this, but I do not like the colonial style base with all this scalloping. So I'm taking my T-square and I'm gonna cut off these scallops and make my foot angled to make it look more modern and like things that you will find in the store today. Once I have everything marked off, I'm just gonna use my jigsaw with a clean blade to cut these off. Now I know a lot of people are not fans when I do this. If you do not want to do this and you like the integrity of the base and you like the scalloping and the colonial look, please feel free to keep that. I just find when I am making something over, I want it to look completely different. And when I'm adding paint and making it look more modern, it just makes sense to modernize the base as well. Once I get my pieces cut off, I use my orbital sander just to smooth out the areas that I've cut. Now that I have the front done, I'm gonna flip it over on its side and do the same thing there. The base on this side was not wide enough to do my angled foot, so I'm just gonna cut off the scalloping and give it more of an arched look. And just so you're aware, whenever you see me using the jigsaw in this video, I have sped the video up to two times speed because it is a pretty slow process. All the products I'm using today will be linked down in the description box and anything that's available through YouTube shopping, you can tap this little button right here that says view products and they'll show up on the side of this video. Or you can head to Lowe's and pick up the most popular colors of Beyond Paint there. Okay, all my prep is done and I'm ready to paint and since I'm using Beyond Paint, I do not have to prime because this paint bonds directly to my finished surface. Like I said earlier, I have my Beyond Paint kit with my 3 8 inch microfiber roller and a chip brush. So I'm just pouring my paint into my paint tray and I am ready to go and these are all the materials I'm going to need to get my paint on. I'm painting the base first with my furniture on its back because it's going to be a lot easier for me to hit up all these spots. You can see just how easy this is to put on. I'm using the chip brush to get into any areas that my roller can't reach and then I'm rolling out everything flat with the roller. But my favorite part about this paint is that it has the sealer built in. So after I put on my paint, my makeover is finished. I don't have to add an additional top coat. The existing finish on the inside of this cabinet is in really great shape. So I'm just gonna tape it off and protect it and not paint the inside. When you're working in detailed areas that the roller can't get into, you wanna use the chip brush in a bouncing and stippling motion like this. Once you get in your details, you're gonna take the roller and just smooth everything out. I've been a fan of Beyond Paint for a while now and have been using it on my channel for over four years. So I'll link all my Beyond Paint makeovers that I have for you down in the description box. Some people also might be mad that I am not removing these cabinet doors to paint them, but I have just had a lot of trouble once I take doors off like this, getting them back on and making sure that they're level. So for me, it's just easier to paint it with the door on. Again, you can do what works best for you.
This paint contains very fine colorant, so it's gonna avoid fading and allow UV stability so it won't fade in the sun. And it's extremely low VOC and water-based, so it has very little odor and it's really easy to clean up when you're done. And because this paint works on a number of surfaces, I'm going to paint directly over these metal hinges because I'm gonna have a hard time getting these to match my new hardware that I picked out. And they're just really like kind of in your face and I want them to be hidden a little bit more. I'm guessing this is probably gonna make some of you mad too, but I just wanted these to blend in with the doors. Now that my first coat is done, I'm gonna just put my roller in a Ziploc baggie to keep it from drying out in between coats. And I'm gonna clean my brush and my tray. I also wanted to show you when this paint is wet, it looks pretty textured going on, but this is what it looks like after drying for two hours. It levels out a lot and gives you a beautiful smooth finish with just a hint of texture. That texture helps it camouflage and hide any little nicks and dings that might be in your old furniture. The coverage on my first coat was pretty good, but as you can see, I have some spots peeking through, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on a second coat. A quart of Beyond paint covers about 100 square feet. This is how much paint I use, so I definitely have a ton left over for other projects. Beyond paint is dry in two to four hours, but I let this dry overnight before adding my new hardware. You wanna be careful with your furniture or cabinets that you paint for 30 days while it cures down to its hardest state. Just like cabinets, these drawers are gonna touch the painted frame, so I'm adding these stoppers on here to protect the paint from chipping when you open and close the drawers. And with the installation of my last hardware pool, I am done with this project. I took this lonely, sad little hutch that nobody wanted to bring home and gave it a whole new look. And I actually think this could be used in a bunch of different ways. So I'm gonna show you those. First off, I'm starting with it being a changing table because this is what I had envisioned in my head. It's the perfect height and the perfect size. And it has a plenty of storage for all your diapers, wipes, creams, and even storage down in those cupboards for all those toys. I also think this would be a great showpiece for an entryway or a foyer. So I'm styling it really simply with this beautiful white vase and some faux stems. I think this would also be used a bunch of different ways like a wine bar or a coffee bar. So I wanted to show you some AI stage shots. AI is a really fun way to envision how this is gonna look in someone else's home or in your home and even help you get some staging ideas. My favorite idea is still the changing table, but it's good to know you could use it other ways after you're done with it. I hope this project encourages you to take a second look at that awkward piece of furniture in the thrift store that maybe everybody passed by and think of what you can turn it into. And of course you can use Beyond Paint and it's gonna make that makeover super easy for you. You can shop any of the products that I used in this video today by tapping the shop button on YouTube shopping. I'll leave everything in the description box for you as well. And thank you to Beyond Paint for sponsoring this video. And I will be back with another project soon and I'll see you guys next time.